Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo Chung Agunigui. So on this channel, I create content for business owners, entrepreneurs, content creators. We do food, beauty, and all the good stuff. If all these things sound like something you want to know more about, then continue watching. So today, we are going to be dealing on financial emergencies, okay? How you're going to go about it, or how you're going to treat it when you find yourself in um, in such situation so first of all all of us um should i say all of us and well majority of us experience um financial emergencies which is caused by unforeseen circumstances things that was not planned like thing that was not planned you know what that means it could be health issue it could be house issue it could be whatever like that can happen to you without planning it that's what we call unforeseen circumstances okay so on this channel today i'm going to put up um some tips on how to go about it when you find yourself in such situation okay you know when you find yourself in some um unforeseen circumstances like that some people treat it in the right way why some people do it opposite like you know it turned out to be a disaster for them so here today we're going to take um the tips one after the other so that we can know how to go about it when we find ourselves in such situation okay so when you find yourself in this situation the first thing first is to create an emergency fund or maybe prior to that time you have to create an emergency fund so that you don't find yourself in that situation i mean all of us like to be financially free right yeah so you have to create an emergency fund so that when you find yourself in this situation you will know what to do and how to go about it and also when you create an emergency fund you are going to experience some level of some level of freedom right so that not when you get your when you find yourself in, in such situation you know you have to start beating you'll be so scared and you don't know what to do and how to go about it you know which some people used to do wrongly some people used to probably get it right okay so the first thing is to create an emergency fund it's going to help a very long time it's just a part of saving when you get your money you just put it in that emergency fund um, um, account and not to be touched so the second one here now is to be optimistic okay you know when you find yourself in financial emergency to be honest it can leave one feeling helpless and hopeless so you have to be very very optimistic when this happens because even even if you have to, even if you put negativity in it it's still not going to help them out they have to be very optimistic be very positive so that you come out with the best result you know you have to be very calm and think because when you're optimistic you have to be calm and think so that you can sort yourself out very well come out in that situation without any much trouble you know so the only thing is to be positive and optimistic yeah so the third tip here is to spend less money and make more money okay spend less money and make more money we all know that having multiple streams of income can never be overemphasized like you have to have other things that gives you income and you know so that you don't have to rely on one source let's assume now you, you are uh, you are um you are working okay so you don't have to just rely on your salary alone you have to also have other multiple streams where money comes in okay so that when you find yourself in this situation uh, um, when you find yourself in this so that when you find yourself in this situation you're not going to be caught up you have to spend less money as well not going to buy everything and anything you have to spend less money so when you spend less money in that way when you find yourself in unforeseen circumstances you will know how to go about it already you have already set an emergency fund that is going to carry you through it okay okay so the fourth one here is to set a priority okay you have to set a priority to know how you spend your money you don't have to you know 
waste all your money like you have to set priority to know what is important to know what is important so with that when you know what is important like if you know that you have to spend something on yourself you have to you know buy the needful not all you want start making orders online here and there so you have to just know what you what you need at that time so with that when you don't keep buying things everywhere with that you will have to have enough to save so that when you find yourself in this so-called unforeseen circumstances you will be able to carry yourself through it you get what i mean i think there is sense in this thing when you save you will be able to carry yourself because this unforeseen circumstance is not planned like just the way the name goes it just happens like this like this so you have to set a priority to know what is important to you and not just going everywhere to buy whatever you see that is nice now don't do that it's going to wreck your pocket the fifth one here now is to ask for help okay when you find yourself in financial emergency situation here now and you've already don't have maybe your financial emergency money set aside and all of that so the only thing you have to do is to ask for help like if you're one of those people who doesn't ask for family member friend colleague whoever you know you can talk to for help i think is the time when you see yourself in that condition in that situation that you don't know anything else to do but if you have friends and family members who can help you i think you should ask them for help so with that you're going to you know, pass through this situation and come out so the last but definitely not the least is to get a loan okay when you find yourself in such situation i would advise you to also get a loan you know because when you don't have anything else to do if you can get a loan get a loan get a loan you know look for a lender who can who is going to lend you the money in a very low interest rate and the payment is going to be you know gradually so that you have to get back to your feet as well so you have to get a loan when you can and and know that that shouldn't be this one now getting a loan shouldn't be your first um shouldn't be your first option because if you get a loan remember you're also in debt so being in debt is still not the best so this one should be your last option okay so guys i have come to the end of the five tips of what to do when you find yourself in financial emergency okay i'm still new here i want you guys to subscribe to my channel on the notification bell so you'll be first to notify anytime i post a video okay bye for now